there's something evil and weird in this house. Good and evil live in the world, and that's not a joke. I don't like this. I don't like feeling like this. Like, I, I want it to stop. I am not just making this story up out of nowhere. This is a true, real story. Evil exists. It happens. And if it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone. Hey guys, it's Shannon Rose, and today I'm going to be telling you guys one of the scariest paranormal experiences I've ever had in my whole entire life that I remember. So I'm just going to get straight into the story. So Travis and I were living in LA. We don't live in LA anymore, but we still do own a house there. And right now we're renting it out. So one night, Travis and I were going to bed just like any other night, and we were just falling asleep. And all of a sudden his phone, he keeps, we both keep our phones on our nightstands. His phone was on his nightstand and all of a sudden a really bright light came off of his phone and it woke us both up. And for me, I'm a very heavy sleeper. I don't wake up for anything. This I woke up for. It literally lit up the whole room and I was just like, whoa. Travis looked at his phone and it was plugged into the charger. All of a sudden it makes this noise of like it shutting off. You know how the, the Samsung phones will make a noise when they're powering off? His phone shut off. Like it made the noise and shut off completely. And he was like, that's so weird. Like my phone is plugged in. Like something's like weird with my phone. Right after that happened, you guys, I don't know how to explain this, but there was just a sense of an uncomfortable feeling in our room overwhelming feeling of like impending doom came over me. Normally for me, like I get anxiety and panic attacks. So I just thought like I was having like some sort of like panic attack because something weird happened with this phone and it was freaking me out. And and before I could even say that like I, I was starting to get anxiety, Travis is like, I don't feel right. And then I jumped up out of bed and I'm like, what do you mean you don't feel right? <laughs> And he's like, I don't know, something doesn't feel right. Like, I feel, I feel really off right now. And I was like, oh my God, me too. We're sitting there, like, in the dark. It's like a very scary feeling, you guys. I don't know how to explain it. It was just like something was, like, in our room and very off and scary. It did not feel good. It was extremely uncomfortable feeling, like, mm -hmm. out of nowhere. I wasn't the only one feeling it. Travis was too. Right after we start telling each other that we're not, like, we're feeling off and something is not right, we hear a car outside screech, and then all of a sudden you hear it hit something, it hit a dog. We heard the dog start whimpering, and as soon as we heard that, we like jumped out of bed, ran outside to like go see if the dog was okay. We went outside, there was no car, there was no dog, there was like nothing. This was like in the middle of the night. It was like probably 1.30 in the morning. And Travis and I are like, what? the hell is going on? I was like, are we hearing shit? Like, what is going on? This is really freaking weird. So we go back inside and we notice that Bandit, our cat, is like freaking out inside the house. He's hissing, he's hiding under the bed, and we're like, oh my god. And as we walk back into our bedroom, that feeling, something is just not fucking right going on. Like, something bad is gonna happen. Like, some evil is fucking happening right now. Like, it was... Oh, you guys, like I don't even know how to describe this feeling. So freaking weird and eerie and just like off. So the cat's freaking out and Travis is starting to like be weird. He's like, I don't like this. I don't like feeling like this. Like I, I want it to stop. And I'm like freaking out because I'm also feeling this way. But Travis is not the type of person that feels like this. Like he is always somebody that like plays down situations. He's the one that's like, it's going to be fine. Like everything's okay. He was not saying it's going to be okay. He was like, something is wrong. I don't feel right. Like th there's something wrong going on. There was evil in our house. There was something very evil, very eerie and wrong going on in our house and I did not like it. All of a sudden, my heart is like pounding like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a heart attack. Everything that you could think and feel wrong with you was happening. Things were happening that just didn't make sense. Travis's phone shutting off, us hearing this car hit a dog and the dog whimpering and going outside and there's nothing there. Our cat freaking out and hissing at nothing. Travis and I feeling like something that's like very wrong with us and something very wrong is happening in our house. Like it was scary and it just started getting worse. And I was like, I need to get out of this house. There's something evil and weird in this house and so I literally ran outside I'm like it just in a t-shirt I have no underwear on and I grabbed my phone and I called 911 because I didn't know what else to do I was literally freaking out I was having a full-blown panic attack at this point 
something was very off. It wasn't just me because it was definitely happening with Travis and Travis was feeling and seeing all of this stuff too happening. And I called 911 and as soon as they picked up the phone, I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to say? Like, they're gonna think I'm on drugs. Like, they're literally gonna think that I'm on drugs and like hallucinating and having some fat acid trip or something. And I'm like, I think that I'm having a heart attack. I just need you guys to get here now. And I think that I knew I was having a panic attack, but I really felt like something was very fucking wrong. Like, not just with me, but just happening in the house. And I thought I would feel safer if, like, the fire department was there and just to get us out of that situation. The fire department came really quickly. They were there and they came inside the house. And even the, f the firemen that were coming inside the house, like the paramedics and stuff, like, you can tell when they walked in, it's like, they kind of felt like something was off in the house but I don't think that they like really knew and they're like hey, well, can you tell us what's going on what's happening with you and I'm like I just feel like I'm having like a heart attack I, I'm you know like I don't know what to tell them and they're like okay well what were you doing before this and I'm like well I was falling asleep and then some really weird stuff started happening and they're like well what do you mean some weird I shouldn't have said that <laughs> because then they were probably gonna think like that I was on drugs because how do you explain to them that evil is in your house and like attacking you. For one, just people don't believe in unless they experience it themselves. Two, they probably thought I was on drugs. And three, firemen and policemen, they can't protect you from evil. And I think that that's one of the things that's the most scary about being in that situation is you know that nobody can protect you from that. The fire department, you know, they come and they check your vital signs. My heart rate was like through the roof. They were like telling me like, you're probably having a panic attack and you know, you just need to calm down. You know, you maybe should think about getting some Ativan or Xanax from, from a therapist or a doctor. And I was just like, oh my God, you guys have no idea what's going on right now. So eventually the fire department, everybody left but then Travis was even scared to go back in our room after they had left. Like, I didn't even want to be in that house anymore. I was like, I want to go sleep at my mom's. I don't want to be here. I'm fucking scared. I did not want to go back in that room because it felt like in the bedroom was where all of this like evil and like uncomfortableness was coming from. So I am going to ask Travis to make a really short clip to include in here so that you guys can hear his perspective from his night and how he felt and what he thought about the situation. So if he is able to make that video, I'll put that here. I really don't even like um, bringing it up to be honest because it was hands down evil. Phone acting weird, flashing a bright light, turning off automatically with a full charge, then the dog getting hit and hearing a, an animal screaming, like crying and screaming outside, this car skidding, to go out there to nothing. There was nothing. No blood, no car, no dog, nothing in the middle of the night. It's that feeling. It is just, I don't, if you haven't felt anything like that, I don't even know how to explain it. You feel it. You know something is wrong. Like something is bad. I personally felt that. It hit hard, okay? And when we called the cops, we called the paramedics and the ambulance. I mean, it sounds probably crazy, but, you know, we weren't doing any drugs. We weren't drinking. We were just trying to go to sleep. But in that situation, like, nobody can do anything. They came to the house, you know, trying to kind of explain, like, hey, you know, the, we heard this dog and stuff, and we probably sounded crazy, but how do you explain that? And Bandit was freaked out. He was, like, hiding and just, like, I don't know, just, I, I think animals get that, like, weird sense of stuff. And we had debated, you know, we love like leaving the house for the night, but then we were like, oh, we're going to leave Bandit. I don't want to leave Bandit. No joke about it. I don't care like what anybody would ever say and be like, oh, it's kind of some weird stuff or this or that. No, bullshit. Okay. Wasn't drinking, wasn't doing drugs, totally normal, right mind. And between the stuff that was going on, between the cat, my phone, the dog getting hit, the car like screeching with nothing else. And that just like that quiet darkness feeling, it was like evil, like good and evil live in the world. And that's not a joke. Like, that's serious shit. So hopefully nobody has to ever go through that or feel that. But I'm telling you right now, like, it lives in the world, period. So hopefully this lets you know that I am not just making this story up out of nowhere. This is a true, real story. Evil exists. It happens. And if it can happen to me, it can happen to anyone. So Travis and I ended up sleeping on the couch in the living room that night because we were both too scared to go sleep back in our bedroom. I am telling you, that was probably this one of the scariest nights of my life. It's so hard to be able to explain like what happened that night and and how it felt to have like evil in your house. But I'm telling you guys that like don't believe in this stuff. It is so so real it exists like it is out there i know i have experienced it myself 
and it's really scary and there's nothing you can do about it. That's probably the scariest part. I just could never get over it, like that night and what had happened and so I'm really glad we don't live in that house anymore. <laughs> and I sometimes wonder if like the tenants that live there now if anything has happened to them. So that was one of probably the scariest nights of my life where I ended up actually calling the fire department the ambulance because there was evil in my house and I was freaking really scared. So that was my crazy story. I do have more. I will be posting more videos. If you guys enjoy these videos and you want to see more, please hit the like button. It helps me out a lot and it lets me know that you guys actually like these videos. Um, if you guys have had similar experiences, please leave it in the comment section below. It lets me know that I'm not alone and neither are you guys. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I'm sending you guys all my love and all my positive energy and and I hope to see you in my next video. Ah!